I just bought a car. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Good morning, everyone. I have had quite the week and I will catch you all up on everything that's been going on in my life lately. But right now I am about to head out the door and go test drive some cars. Since my car accident back in November, Eric and I have been sharing his car. And since I'm going back to work in April, we decided that it was probably time that I start looking to replace my car. It's funny that you all thought that I had got a new car and I didn't tell you. I would definitely tell you guys when I got a new car. This will be my third time this week test driving cars. I've had a little bit of a rough experience, but I'm feeling really good about today and just hoping that it's going to be a much much better day. I just got to the dealership. I'm a little nervous, but also really excited. I feel like Eric could sense that I was starting to get anxiety and nerves before I left today because after his meeting, when I was getting ready in our bedroom, he just came in and gave me a really long and big hug to help calm me down. And he said that he could hear me sighing. And I think he could just sense the stress off of me. And it's so funny because I didn't even notice myself stressing and he can just pick up on little things about me that I don't even notice myself. So I'm going to head on into the dealership and test drive a few cars. If I find the car that's meant for me today, that's great. If I don't, that's also okay, but I will keep you all updated. All right, you guys, oh my gosh, I am sitting in the finance office right now. I just bought my first car. I am absolutely in love with it. I am so, so, so excited. I feel so good about this and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Holy crap, I just bought a car. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Okay, so right now it is being detailed. I'm going to drive Eric's car home and then he's gonna come back with me in his car to pick up my car. And then I think we're gonna go to lunch to celebrate. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I am so excited. I feel really safe in it. And overall, I just feel really good about this decision. Luna, ah, Luna, mom bought a car. Don't knock me over. I am taking Luna out real quick. I had to change into a tank top because it is just so beautiful out. It is sunny and 72 degrees. Gonna play frisbee with Luna for a little bit and then we'll go get my new car. Here she is. I am in my new car. I am so excited. We're about to go drive to lunch. And then when we get back, I will give you all a full tour of my new 2017 Honda HRV. Good morning, everyone. So obviously it is the next day. I originally planned to film a little car tour for you guys as soon as I got back home after lunch, but I swear as soon as we got back, I was so tired. I don't know if I had an adrenaline rush and just crashed after I bought my car. It was like this wave of tiredness and complete exhaustion just came over me, but I'm feeling a lot better today. So I wanted to give you guys a little look and tour of my car. When you open the driver's side door, this is the inside of the car. It has a very nice interior. It's a tan grayish color. Here is a look at the inside. And to open up the back door, you actually pull the handle right here. It's very hidden. I think it looks kind of cool. This is what the back of the car looks like. And then I think from here, you can actually have a better view of the dash and what the front of the car looks like. In the back of the car, we have a cup holder and a power outlet. One of the features that I really like about this car is there's this econ button. So when you press that, 
it looks green right there. And I'm not sure exactly what it does, but I know it is better for the environment and it helps save me some money. Pretty normal setup over here. Have our air conditioning and our radio. Actually has a CD player up here. So you can have a CD or an aux, which I think is really cool. I might need to go get some new CDs. But down here I do have a USB port so I can plug my phone in. And I am able to connect my phone through Bluetooth here. And then when you put the car in reverse, you have a nice backup camera. On a more random note, the other reason why I stopped filming yesterday was because I noticed that all of my footage when I started editing was super shaky and I couldn't figure out why. So I changed some of the settings on my camera and I hope it's better now, but I'm really sorry that the first like four minutes of this video is really shaky. Okay, back to car tour. We also have plenty of trunk space back here. See? Look at all that room. And if we needed any more room, the back seats fold completely down. So far, I really, really love this car. I am super happy with my decision. When I started looking for a car, I knew I wanted something more mid-sized than my previous Ford Fiesta. This was the fifth car that I have test driven this week. And when I was driving it, it just felt right. I just had this feeling that this was the car that was meant for me. And I very much trust my gut. I actually came very close to signing for a Nissan Altima earlier this week, but then something, when it came down to actually signing the paperwork, I got this really bad feeling in my gut, and I just, I felt sick to my stomach, almost like I was gonna throw up. And yeah, last minute, I just couldn't do it, and I'm so glad now that I didn't, because I have this car, and I'm really happy with it. I also test drove the Nissan Rogue, which was really nice, and then I also test drove earlier this week a Honda Fit, and then I also test drove a Toyota CHR, which I did really like, but it was over my budget. So I just, when it came down to actually trying to sign the paperwork, I couldn't get myself to do it. But ultimately when it came down to it, this car was well within my price range. It's a few years old and it's under 10,000 miles. So everything just kind of came together and I just feel really, really good about it. But I did ask you all on Instagram to help me name my new car. I'm sorry, my camera overheated when I was filming in my car and shut itself off. So what I was saying was I asked you all on Instagram Instagram to give me ideas for what I should name my car and you guys have given me some really funny names I thought Rhonda the Honda was hilarious a lot of you said that I got a lot of Hollies I really like the name Pearl I've also gone Opal and Sunshine a lot of you also said I should name my new car Jet which I thought was pretty cute anyways if you haven't seen that let me know in the comments below what you think of my new car and what I should name it I'm going to make some lunch but before that a quick word from today's sponsor as you all know, I have worked with Skillshare in the past and I am so thankful to them for supporting me and my channel. Skillshare is an online community where you can find thousands of classes across so many different subjects. Whether it be do-it-yourself projects, finance, art, or web design, everyone can find something that is suitable for them. As you all know, I really love to write in my journal, but sometimes it's hard to know exactly what to write about. So I was really excited to take the class Writing for Self-Discovery Six Journaling Prompts for Gratitude and Growth by Yasmin Cheyenne. My biggest takeaway from this class was how thought-provoking each prompt was and how well each one has stuck with me. Skillshare is specifically curated for learning, so there are no ads throughout any of their lessons and they are always launching new premium classes. And it's also less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. But for all of my subscribers, Skillshare is offering a free trial of their premium membership to the first 1,000 of you that click the link in in my description box below. So go ahead and click that link, take some classes, let me know what you guys have learned and what you enjoy about Skillshare. I can't thank them enough for sponsoring this portion of my video. And now let's get back to the rest of the vlog. All right, I'm really hungry, so will let's make some lunch. Will I leave behind broken crumble signs hiding all my roads to
lunch is ready. We have couscous, chicken, and zucchini with parmesan and breadcrumbs on it. And the sauce came out okay. It's separating a little bit, so we'll see. But lunch is served. That lunch was honestly so good. I'll definitely be making that again. Only thing I really dislike about cooking is how messy I make my kitchen.